Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to explain how uh, to use the in situ art room app. Um, the app is available for Android phones and uh, Apple phones. Um, and now I'm going to explain how to use it on an iPhone. Okay, so I have the app here on my desktop, so I click on it. And then when it opens, um, I see this grid pattern with all the rooms that are available. Um, the top row uh, is um, like there are the free rooms. And um, yes, this is an easier way to scroll. Um, you can see all the rooms like this. But if you are looking for a specific room in a specific color or a close up or a dining area, uh, you can go to the category section and then you have to look at the bottom menu and click on the symbol to the left. Okay, so I click on it and then I can see all the room categories. Okay. So if I choose, for example, dining areas, then I will see the available dining areas. Okay. And let's say I like the first one, then I click on it. And here you can see that this room is not showing completely. So if I want to see because it's a big picture. So if I want to see the whole room, I can just click on the eye symbol in the upper menu. Then I see the whole room. Okay, so now I want to upload my painting to this wall. And then I click on the symbol with the arrow uh, facing upwards in the bottom menu. And then I get two options. I can um, select a painting from my gallery or I can take a picture with the camera. And I have a, a painting saved in my gallery. So I'm going to click on that. And then I just choose the um, painting. Okay, and now uh, there is another pop-up. Um, and then you can um, write the measurements of your painting if you want it to match um, the wall. Um, and you can write in centimeters or in inches. I normally choose no size because I like to use my fingers to like this to change the size to the size that I want. Okay, so I We'll put it like that there. And by default now, the painting has a small shadow. And you can see that um, below in the bottom menu, you have two like rows. And um, if you click on the check mark in the upper row, uh, you take that option away. Okay, and if I want to it's it's that's a toolbar the shadow toolbar and i if i want uh, it to appear again then i click on frames and then i pick shadow and then it appears again and with this toolbar i can um edit the um, the shadow um for example the sun in the middle i click on it to change the um, uh, direction of the shadow and the plus sign is to enhance the the shadow okay so you see that it changes a little bit okay I want it quite big and then I want it on this side and to hide the toolbar I just click on the check mark again okay so now I'm rather happy with uh, with the painting uh, with the mock-up I mean and then I click on the arrow facing downwards in the bottom menu to just save the mockup. And then I get um, a message um, that's telling me that I can use the hashtag in situ art room on your social media. Um, 
And if you use it on Instagram, you have a chance to be featured with your mock-up. So that's a good way to get exposure. You should do that. Um, if I want to, I can share my mock-up directly to my social media. Or I can click on later if I want to keep on um, uh, editing rooms. Okay, so I click on later. In the top, uh, in the sorry, in the bottom menu to the right, you also have a share button if you want to share uh, your painting later, uh, not in the same moment as the pop-up shows. Okay. Um, also, I can change between the rooms. I can scroll like this. Okay to the left and the painting will still be there okay so let's say I want to try this one that's nice okay now I want to try it with a frame then I can click on the frame in the bottom menu again and I could choose for example a, a gold frame that works nice in this room I think and I can save it um okay so now perhaps i want to go back to the grid pattern to see the rooms because it's difficult to scroll like this i can't really see the rooms then i click on the grid pattern in the upper menu again and i scroll okay um in the upper menu you can also see that there is a heart there and here you can save your your favorite rooms so if you use the same room over and over again you can just um, because you like it then you can just save it there and uh, you click on the heart button again to exit the, this view okay what else in the upper right corner you have three dots too and this is um, like the setting area okay so i click on that and then i have the um, option to become premium if uh, i want to access all the the other rooms not just the uh, three free rooms um if i have a problem with the app or i want to um i have some suggestions or wishes or something like that i can click on the feedback um button and send feedback and also if you have questions you can first check uh, the the frequent um, and uh, frequently asked questions uh, section um, yes that's about it uh, become premium you can see here if I click on that that there are different um, subscriptions um it's a bit more expensive if you pay each month but it's a good um, way to start perhaps if you don't want to um, buy the annual subscription that is um like 30 percent you say 30 percent if you pick that one but if you want to try the app first you should pick the monthly subscription also, it's important to know that you have all the features available while using the free rooms. So that's also a good way uh, to sort of explore the app before purchasing. Um, yeah. Um, what else? Um, yes, the feedback section looks like this. You write your email and then you describe the problem that you have. But... Uh, you should always check the frequently asked questions section before because there are many questions answered there. Okay, and then you will be redirected to a web. Okay, so here it's explained like how do I resize, resize my uploaded image? Yeah, you should do like this and can I upload two or more images and so on. Um, Yes, that was about it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.